Algebra Tours. Welcome back to math. I believe today is Monday for you guys. We have off on Dia de Nino. We're wearing the Honduran, I'm wearing my Honduran shirt that Miss Katina gave me because it's almost your Independence Day and it's Patriotic Month and we should be thankful for where God has us, where God let us be born or where God let us um, go, right? So I'm thankful for the United States and I'm thankful for here. I'm thankful to be here with you guys and love you very much. So. Enjoy your day off this week. Enjoy your three days off next week. Okay, so that would be Ghana. So we're a little, little bit more math, right? So here we go. Lesson seven. We're in percents and then equations from geometry because this is a long lesson. It already has two very distinct parts by itself. I didn't throw in a second lesson today, like do seven and eight. Okay, so look at example one. Eighteen is what percent of what is? Sorry, eighteen is twenty percent of what number? Work the problem and then draw the completed diagram. Guys, I don't want you to be drawing diagrams now that you're in Algebra 2. If you have to and you're like, no, it's just because it's the only way my brain works, that's fine. Go ahead. Look at the examples in the book, but I'm not going to teach it to you that way, okay? Because I think it's a little bit time consuming. And for you guys being in a more advanced math class, I don't think that it's really necessary, okay? So let's look at it again. 18 is, so let's just translate it exactly like it says. 18 is 20%, so we'll put point two, because that's 20%, right? Automatically just move your decimal point two places. 20, invisible decimal point right there, one, two, so it's point two. 20% is point two. Um, of what number? Okay, so 18 is, equals as is, 20% of, that's multiply so you make them pay out, what number? X, okay? And then you just look for the what number. So you divide by two, point two, divide by point two, and your X, equals 90, okay? That's the easiest way to do that. If you wanna check it, what do you do? You go 18 is 20% of what number? 90, so what's 20? So you put in your calculator, 0.2 of 90, 20% of 90, and your answer is gonna give you 18, okay? Let's keep moving on. There's a lot to do with this lesson. Look at 7.2. 1,500, okay, 1,500 is 1,500. Okay, 1,500, 1,500 is equals what percent, so that's going to be x, of 250. So that's going to be 250x, okay? And then you're going to know that you have to put that into percent form because that's what it's asking you, okay? So we divide by 250. We divide by 250. So 150 divided by 25, which is going to be 7. Six, pardon, golly. Okay, so that's gonna be six. Okay, we convert that six into a, um, a percent. Okay, we have our six with our invisible decimal point, right? We wanna convert that into a, a percent. So we have to go one, two, this way. Six hundred percent, okay? And you say, well, Michelle, so wait a second, wait a second. I don't like this form unless you're going to tell me when I have to move my decimal point this way and when I have to move my decimal point this way. Okay, that's why that'll be really good that we have both these up on the board. This one right here was 20%. I'm converting a number, I mean, I'm converting a percent into a number. When I'm converting a percent into a number, I need to move the decimal points this way, okay? Because I'm already taking the percent, 20%, that's 20 over 100. Okay, so you're gonna make that 0.2. But if you're taking a number and converting it into a percent, you're going the other way, okay? Because now you're making this a percent that's gonna be times 100, one, two. And it's 600%, I mean, six. 100%, okay? How do you know that that's even logical? Look what it says in example to you guys. 1,500 is what percent of 250? 1,500 is what percent of 250? Well, it's way bigger than 250, which means it's gonna be way more than 100% of 250, okay? That's where you know the logic is there. Okay, let's move on to example three. Now we're going into a completely different section of this lesson. So just remember, with these, just translate them directly, guys. Don't worry about 
the circles. Those were there to help you understand the concept in algebra one. Okay, the next part of this lesson should be called like finding relationships within angles anywhere and everywhere, but really it's just called equations from geometry. Okay, they want you to use these relationships with these angles to find x. Can you think of a way to do that? Look at it, look at it, think about it. How would you solve for x knowing that you have all three of the angles here? Add them up and equal what? Add them up and equal 180. Okay, because these are all your degrees. So here we go, let's add them up. 2x plus 6x plus 7x is going to give you 15x. Plus 2 plus 10 plus 18 is going to give you 30 equals 180 minus 30 is going to give you 150 and if you ask why 180 miss jessica i'm gonna beat you <laughs> just kidding remember that all of the sum of the, every triangle of the angles is 180 divide by 15 divide by 15 so x equals 10. and that is your answer okay let's see 7.4 Okay, this one looks a little raro, right? Not just by the way I drew it, but the whole thing looks a little weird. But remember, this and this add up to equal a horizontal line as it's equal 180. And we know that this is equal to this and this angle, and that this is equal to this and this angle. So you just need to find the relationship between this one and this one. Is it that they add up to equal 180? Or is it that they're equal? Well, let's move this one up here. It's equal to that one, it's equal to that one. So it's really like right here. And what do we know about this one with this one? It adds up to equal 180. So let's solve for x that way. You have 4x plus 3x plus 7x plus 33 equals 180. What a weird answer we're gonna get, don't you think? Maybe not. That's gonna be seven, that's gonna be Hundred and forty seven divided by thirty three. Let me know. Hi, right, right. seven x equals one hundred forty seven divided by seven divided by seven x equals twenty one. We check our answers right, even though it looks weird. And yes, we are right. It is twenty one. It says then find the measure of a small angle and the measure of a large angle. Okay, so we know that this is 21, so they wanted you to now put it into here. That means it's going to be 3 times 21 is 63. That's going to be your small angle, and then you put it into here as well. 4 times 21 is going to give you 84. 84 plus 33 will give you 7, 117. So those are your three answers. 21 is your x, 63 is your small one, 117 is your big one. Crazy, but it's true, that's how it goes. Okay, on this one, I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but for real, this is how you do it. Okay, look what it says. The measure of the angles A, B, C, and D are in the ratio of one, two, four, and two. Find the measure of each angle. You're like, what in the world are you talking about? Well, basically what it's saying is that if you say one, one, two, four, two, right? One, two, four, two. That means that whatever this one is, the B is double it, it's two times that, C is four times that, and two is like B, it's two times that, okay? Well then what are you gonna do with that? We'll put X in there, so I mean that this is one X, this is two X, this is four X, this is two X. Okay, then what? Okay, well now you know the relationships of that are through all of these angles because they all make up a what? A straight line, a straight line has the degrees of what? 180, so here we go. All of these angles equal together to get you 180. So what's 2x plus 4x plus 2x plus 1x? So it'll be 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9. 9x equals 180. So your x is 20. Is it asking us to solve for x or asking us to solve for each quick angle? It's asking us to solve for each angle, so here we go. A is going to give you 20 because it was 20 times 1. B is going to give you 40 because it was 2 times 20. C will give you 80 because it was 4 times 20. And D will give you 40 again because it was 2 times 20. And those are your 
answers, okay? Do your practice and then come back and check it.